Hey guys, Joe Tunney at Infinity of Kirkland. Taking a look at a car that was just traded in a couple of days ago, and it's one of my favorite cars in the history of Infinity. 2003 Infinity FX45 all-wheel drive. Now, a lot of people uh, make crossovers that are based on a sedan or based on another car in their lineup. The difference with the FX is the FX is exactly the same vehicle as our G-Series sedan and G-Series coupe from the same era. They're actually identical uh, underneath the sheet metal, 112.2 inch wheelbase. So between the lug nuts that hold the front and rear wheels, it's 112.2 inches. Front midship platform where the engine sits farther back in the engine bay, actually behind the front axle, giving it near 50-50 weight distribution. As soon as you sit in the car, it's almost exactly 50-50 weight distribution. So this car doesn't handle similarly to our Infiniti uh, high performance sports cars. It's exactly the same car, just packaged in such a way that makes it uh, much more accommodating for you and your active lifestyle. Now this one, take a look, has only 48,000 miles for a 2003. Local in Washington since the day it was new, it was sold by us, and absolutely picture perfect service records, all done here at Infiniti of Kirkland since new. Now, as you may have heard me say a million times, or you may have read online, uh, most Infiniti dealerships do not report to Carfax, and so it can make uh, buying an Infiniti an adventure where the Carfax is clean, but the car's been in an accident, maybe more than one accident, who knows what's happened to the vehicle. And so we face this hurdle all the time when we buy Infinities or when we take them in on trade. So we have to be able to do our due diligence to know if a car has been in an accident or not. The other thing is when you look at a Carfax on a vehicle such as this, it won't show any service records and you'll think it's the same as some other car from some auction that's at some brokerage, where in fact it actually has amazing service records all done at the dealer since day one. That's the limitation of uh, the relationship between Infinity of Car and Carfax. And if you have any questions about this car or any car getting the history, all you need to do is call any Infinity dealership in the country. And since we're on an intranet, not the internet, we can actually share with you any service history on any Infinity, anywhere it's been done, anywhere in the world, and every other Infinity uh, dealer can do that as well. Now this FX45, so it's a V8 engine, unlike our G sedans, which only are available with a six cylinder engine, it has a double overhead camshaft, uh, 4.5 liter V8 that puts out 315 horsepower and 329 foot pounds of torque. So not only does it have excellent handling, but it has sensational power. Now this one has laser guided cruise control. It's a technology package car. It has 3M clear bra light on the front. So that's a nice feature on a black vehicle because a lot of black cars, despite the uh, fantastic low miles, are going to have a lot of rock chips in the front. This has clear bra. It has no rock chips of any kind. The tires are excellent, the body is excellent. Now this one has sport package wheels, so 20 inch wheels, and then they're chrome sport package wheels. One of the problems with the chrome sport package wheels, if you ever see them, is it has some pinning on the interior and exterior of the wheel, and that is fairly common. In fact, it's more than fairly common on chrome wheel package cars. Now, we always have a lot of FXs in, in stock, and so if we want to swap these out or go in a different direction, chrome isn't your first choice. It's something that we can happily accommodate. Let's take a look around. My favorite interior on any Infinity and probably the single hottest color combination of any FX, and that's called uh, brick black. And so black exterior with brick black uh, interior was all the rage when it was new and it's all the rage when you can find one pre-owned. It's just something completely different than what anybody else has. It has that nice kind of bourbon coloration inside that's uh, always a hit with the luxury segment. And it just looks cool. Plenty of room in the back seat. You can see the uh, electronic adapters on the bottom. That's because it has a drop down DVD as well. And that's a feature you just never see on FX's. Everything looks fantastic all the way around. Just a couple of modest little scuffs right here, but this car hasn't even been buffed yet. So the, uh, I'm sure those will be uh, cleaned up quite substantially. Interior wise though, everything looks fantastic. A lot of times with sport utilities, they get a little bit beat up in the back. This isn't the case at all. And so these just flop down. With the seat forward in the front, they flop down flat on both sides and give you a ton of storage in the back. In fact, much more storage than any other uh, sport utility in this segment. One nice feature 
And you never think about it when you're looking at small sport utilities is the way that the door opens. This door opens almost a complete 90 degrees and why that's meaningful is anybody with a baby seat will attest that these wheel arches in the back of these smaller SUVs really compromise your ability to get in and out with a baby seat. Most doors only open about this far and so when you're in a tight space, parking lot, your garage, what have you, Getting the baby seat out requires you to turn it sideways and puts a lot of pressure on your back while you're leaning over trying to grab it. Just that little extra bit of difference right there makes all the difference in the world for picking a baby seat up and bringing it out in a much easier manner. And almost all smart, uh, small sport utilities do not have that feature. Push button entry so you don't ever have to take the key out of your pocket. In fact, it's. Uh, a keyless start as well so you can leave your key in your pocket in your gym bag in your purse what have you and the uh, just turn the dial and the car turns on it knows where the key is and it knows uh, if you've left the key in the car so you cannot lock the key in the car I'm gonna come around we'll take a look inside great stereo system it's a Bose stereo system and it's a kind of ubiquitous stereo system across the Infiniti lineup for many years. In this more cavernous interior, it works really, really well. Multifunction uh, driver and passenger seat, of course, they're all power. Uh, sport package comes with aluminum finish here. Now, most of the time when you see this aluminum finish, it's pretty beat up because keys and all your accessories, you're just scratching at this stuff. You remember, the 48,000 miles is wonderful little miles, but it's still a 10 year old car. And so this stuff, 100% of the ones that you're going to look at is going to look a little bit mangled and gnarly, and that's perfectly normal. They never look this pristine and immaculate, ever, ever. The pedals on a sports package, they're uh, stainless as well, and they have little uh, rubber nubs to kind of grab at your feet. It has power tilt and telescopic steering. And then as you notice, the entire gauge assembly goes up and down with the steering wheel. No other car in this generation uh, has that feature. The great feature is that when you, uh, no matter where you are in the chair, and no matter what you do with the steering wheel, the steering wheel never blocks the gauges. And so you always have a clear uh, visual indication of exactly what's going on. It has a four-wheel drive lock. Uh, it's an all-wheel drive car, but you can convert it to full-time if you like, just the push of a button. It has heated seats, sits loaded. It has navigation, rear view camera, home link, you name it. That was, it was available in 2003 this vehicle has it. Fully loaded, fabulous service records, perfect condition. This is a really, really unusual find. I mean, this is a dynamite car, 48,000 miles a month. This might be the nicest one in the whole country. If you have any questions at all, if you have a trade in it, if you have financing questions, anything, please give me a call. My cell phone is 425-894-8230. Just drop me an email, joet at infinityofkirkland.com.